Hello Ubuntu users, I am Abhishek from Edsfoss and I am going to show you some of my recommended things to do after installing Ubuntu 18.04 for a better, smoother desktop experience with the new Ubuntu 18.04. Here we go. First, we will see how to set up your system. And among that, the first and foremost thing to do is to update your system. You can do that with the software updater GUI tool or you can use these two magical commands combined apt update and apt upgrade so the next thing you should be doing is to enable more repository like canonical supported multiverse universe repository and as well as the canonical partners repository this will give you access to more software Next thing is, if you want to play mp3 files or mp4 video files, flash, etc, install media codecs. Or if you have a DVD drive, you should enable the DVD support with installing this uh, libdvd package, which has almost everything. So you just need to copy this command for later use while you do that and just press tab and enter and just press tab to select yes and enter once you have done that you just copy paste the, the command you copied in the previous step and it will install it will build and install a few required software to play dvd on your system in the next section we will see how to get new softwares for your system your system is fresh you need to install new software as per your requirement so this ubuntu software center has thousands of applications which you can find in the categories and simply install it from there or you can also search for them from here and it's really beginner friendly to be honest so if you don't find your software in the software center you have option to download them from the internet so suppose you want to install google chrome and if you go on the website you'll find the option to download the deb dev package which you can just save and double click to open with ubuntu software center so it is like exe file in in windows so you have google chrome dev file you just open it with with ubuntu software center and you will have the chrome installed in a matter of few seconds you can also enable flat pack support flat pack or a new kind of packaging like you saw deb uh, these are universal packages from fedora and if you enable flatback support you will have access to some more softwares so once you install the flatback support you can also install the the gnome software plugin so that you can install flatback software using the software center so if you go to the flat hub website you can see it it's like a software center of its own there are applications in categories you can find them in the categories or you can search them and there are like hundreds of applications right now some of these softwares are not available in the default ubuntu software center so if you just install them from the website it will download a flat pack ref file which you can open with software center now with this with the plugin you just installed and then you can install them as you can see the size is huge but that's kind of a feature because everything is secured and confined into this simple package if you don't want to go to flat hub website all the time you can add this repository using the command and then you can find those flat hub software right into the software center you can see that source is dl.flathub.org and then you can just install them right away from the software center very useful in this section 
we'll explore the GNOME desktop which is new to many Ubuntu users. It's not that different thanks to the customization done by Ubuntu team. So you get the notification area in the top middle section and the panels on the top right. And the window snapping is there which is not unique to Ubuntu or GNOME. It's present in almost all operating system I believe. Uh, I would like to show you one of the favorite thing which I so fond of using it in Linux is the always on top option. So you click on the option and if you select this option, you will have the application window always on the top. Next thing is the show application buttons. So here you get the application menu and you can search for applications here. And if you don't have the application, you will get some suggestion from the open to software center as well. There's this activities area, which you can enable either by clicking here or using the super key. That is the windows key. You have the, the option to move the windows between the workspaces. So you just move some of the application to the other workspace and then you will have a clean workspace. These virtual workspaces were one of the favorite thing in Linux like several years back. To tweak your GNOME system, you can use the default settings plugin which gives you access to several things you can modify like the dock behavior. You can change the icon size of the dock it was called launcher in unity and you can also change its position to bottom or right or the default left ubuntu collect some data about how you use your system or if there was some problem with the system so you can disable the crash reports it's really up to you uh, one thing i like to do is tweak the power settings I don't want my system to go to sleep in 20 minutes or lock the screen in like 5 minutes. So I disable the automatic suspend. I also disable the dim screen when it is inactive for like 5 minutes or something. You should tweak the settings otherwise your system will be locked every time. And then you have the option of night light which will filter the blue lights at night. You can further tweak your system with the gnome tweaks tool which you have to install actually and for example with tweaks tool you can install new themes in here like it will change the appearance of your your system i have a dedicated video on how to change themes in gnome you can find the video link in the description You can extend the functionality of your GNOME desktop with GNOME extensions. You have to install the plugin and then you go to the GNOME extensions website and install the browser extension. And then you can find the extensions and install them. So in case this is the internet radio, which when you install, you can access the internet radio right on the top panel. I have a dedicated video in detail showing this stuff. You can find the video link in the description. I find a few minor issues, annoyances in 18.04 and I would like to show you how to fix them. For example, I like to display the battery percentage. If you use laptop, it's very useful. The next thing is that when you right click anywhere, you won't see the option to create a new document from the menu. This is a tiny stuff, but kind of annoying. So if you want this option back in the right click menu, all you have to do is open the text editor, create a new document, an empty document if you want, and just save it in the templates directory. For example, I'm going to name it new document and then I'll save it in the templates directory. Now when you have the this document saved in temp templates directory, if you right click you will find that there's the option to create a new document in the right click menu. 
another thing which i like is this minimize on click option if you have a window open and if you click on the launcher icon again the window stays there i want it to be minimized so i'll be using this tiny command and if i do that i can open and kind of close not close minimize it from clicking the icon again another thing which is buggy in ubuntu 18.04 is that if you don't have physical right click button on your touchpad you won't be able to do right click by going on the end of your touchpad to enable this go to unity tweak keyboard and mouse and click on the area option and then you will be able to do right click using the bottom part of your touchpad uh, if you use a laptop the there's simply no need of the screen rotation this is a minor annoyance but you should fix it if you want to keep your system running in pristine condition you should regularly clean it and you can do that with this magical command sudo apt auto remove it will clean hundreds of mb of your space in no time If you don't like command line options, you can also use a GUI tool like Bleach Bit or Stacer. It's really up to you, but I personally prefer the sudo apt auto remove command. The next option is to enable a firewall. If you are on your home network, you won't need it. But if you regularly connect to a public Wi-Fi like on airport or in coffee shop you should have the firewall on your system the good thing about this uncomplicated firewall UFW is that it comes pre-built with the profiles so you just need to enable the profile like public profile on your system and then you you don't need to worry about anything else if you are an advanced user you can set up your own rules here and with that I leave it up to you to figure out Ubuntu 18.04 and use it the way you like. If you like the video and if you find it helpful, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Ubuntu tips, tutorials and fun stuff. Signing out for now. Bye bye.